wouldn't it be awesome if Rav released his new video during the uh, while the servers were down? And look, 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 look what it is. Attention gamers. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, view number 171. I was gonna be view number three, but you know, it's fine. It is what it is. Previously, right. on my attempt to stop holding L's by catching a few dubs, I dinged 40, and with the help of streamer benefits, bought me a RAM that I named Rebecca. I wasted an entire day of my life yeah. on a single quest where I almost died while being AFK. I proved that I'm ready for endgame dungeons before scamming a guildie with a weird kink for bald people. I met up with three of the biggest dick slingers in the guild to do a dungeon to which I found my own way to I contribute as we killed the mm -hmm. final boss and I took interest in a ring that had zero value to me as a hunter. Doesn't matter, everything is Psych hunter passed gear. on the warrior's purity ring, the last thing I want to be called is a ninja as my plan is to be a team player in this guild and I was about to prove this by avenging the deaths of my guildies. That's me, dude. Why? <laughs> the first death can best be summarized no! by this clip that- Is this gonna be another clip? Is there gonna be my death in here? I have seen this fucking clip so many times, I cannot get away from it. But I took wildly out of context. I ran in there, pulled everything on purpose, said we're fine, and then we died. She died. Turns out she wasn't streaming, so you had to witness her demise from the POV of the kid who clearly missed when it came to his decision to attempt this quest and considering the top of this boat looked like a Jack Sparrow cosplay contest while he and the third they pulled out of Hogwarts daycare were struggling to appear threatening. Oh, no, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. The healer got the aggro which turned into this. I, 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 I... Dad was less than happy to hear the news. I am... No, 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 no. I haven't even seen the footage. I haven't even seen the death. <laughs> and what I took from the conversation is that this particular quest is too deadly to attempt on hardcore and should be skipped. Dumb, extremely risky quest. Everyone's warning you about this quest and you still do it. I tell you to calm down. You're going crazy. So naturally, this was the next quest I wanted to do. Oh, but with the plan yeah. to apply the lessons from Soda's rage like when a random normie asked to group I remembered. You don't know who it is! You don't know this mage! Do you understand the difference between a stupid f and a good player? And politely told him to piss off only to learn not 15 seconds later why grouping with that shit stain <laughs> indeed would have been a mistake. <laughs> Anyways, the quest clearly says this. Take some of your most skilled comrades. So I'm not sure why Emmy chose to bring this when she heard that, but I was going to bring someone else. Oh shit, okay. The guild's rogue tank Mr. Ozzy, a dear friend of mine and Howard's, and together we were going to avenge the death and after the warning signs. Dumb, extremely risky quest. I knew we'd have to be clean with the kills. The first boat I went down looking for Amber Heard put a trap down and then said, hey, I have a large net worth and like to get drunk knowing the bait would work as I posted up and just waited for her to come out wanting to sue me. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it worked like a charm and our flawless execution was going to bring us to the captain, who was already fucking dead. So we opted oh. into waiting in a small room in the middle of a ship where 17 mobs can respawn at any time while we wait for Captain Barbosa to get back from the store with the milk only to be greeted with third degree burns and a hunter hitting him with the first person POV while his butt buddy was making a better door than a window and with that, the first of three was down. Nice. But as we approached the second ship we Dude, ran into one of those- You know how I did this quest? I literally invited a level 60 and stood outside the ships and didn't even go in there. That's how I did it. So, yeah, Kramer, thank you for that, by the way. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I saw what happened to Emmy here. I am uh, I am not doing that. No, thank you. Yep, yep. Bestiality fetish sex elves who wanted to join. And you don't know who the f*** this person is. That's a no for me, dog. Sorry, Soda's orders. And sure enough, she quickly proved to have a room temperature IQ when she invited half the boat out of their quarters <gasps> to kick her ass, which I thought was hilarious until they all decided I would be the consolation prize. I then figured I would show her how to properly yep. do this pull, and I think by Ozzy's reaction, I nailed the execution. One. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Lots, lots, lots. We had a dog fight on our hands this time, and I decided I'd rather bring this party onto dry land where there is potential for even more mobs. I played a quick oh, game shit. of follow the iron grenading leader then I shoved a tide pot up Howard's asshole and told him to bite the cosplaying cow but there were too many so I had to play dead on TV let them give my rogue tank some attention and wither them down one by one. When Dude, I saw the second easy. captain I couldn't hold back my inner 12 year old and asked him what the difference between a goblin and a gremlin were but he died before I could tell him the punchline. 
Now for the record the proper way to execute this pull would be to request a private meeting with two of them before talking to the rest of the family then put one over ice while you deal with the second and it'll be the cleanest double homicide on this side of the eastern kingdoms but I chose a different approach. Did the eyes of Beast Howard? I failed to account for how hard it is to resist petting Howard so the entire extended family came rushing out which resulted in a brief scare for Mr. Osborne but we did it and were ready to face the last and most deadly captain we'd ever seen. Hey, my, you're a tall one. I debated showing that Emmy died to the army who reports to this knee nibbling garden gnome and even though we both laughed at this little cake topper somehow reaching the top of the blood cell totem pole. We had a mission and that was to teabag he who killed Emmy before parting ways until the next time. Nice. Fandy's death was next and this one was less a matter of in-game danger but rather a combination of external factors. She was going- uh, oh. Guys, come on! <laughs> on her 10th straight hour of streaming a game that's been the same for 20 years, yep. likely tired and invested into something dank on her second monitor. <laughs> And the yep. duo she invited to her yep. party was also tabbed out checking if this was the same Fandy he watches on a different site late at night while doing the- <laughs> What the fuck, bro? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it, it would make sense. That, that would explain exactly what happened. The five knuckle shuffle on the old piss pump and the combination of neither of them fully paying attention proved to be a lesson on how quick it can all end. I went to that same bloody anus of a zone knowing that avenging this death would be much easier for me since I was neither sleep deprived like Fandy or jerking off like the hunter in her group as I started the escort and everything was going. Some asshole threw some heat Howard's way and had to pay the price but that was the only action at Fandy's funeral site. That said for those of you on your seats wondering how the rest of this quest goes you help the dude deal with his crippling arachnophobia. He complains about his asthma and then shows you where his old 9 to 5 was as if you give a shit. Turns out his old co-workers thought he was a cocksucker and then after 15 minutes of escorting this short dude that didn't shut up once he flat out gets JFK right in front of your face. <laughs> I literally just, yeah. So you loot his inheritance and that's it. Ms. Kiff's death had me feeling less sad but rather more mad. Mad at myself for not betting the other guildies more gold that he would die within 24 hours of having to play on his own and the lesson to be learned here is that wait, these mechanics- They're taking bets for- Wait, 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 how do I get in on this? I need to get in on this. I need to take bets for how long he's gonna live too. Dude, this is free gold. Uncle chickens are not to be fucked with because for some ungodly reason there are large groups of yetis who advocate against their release. He had more than one opportunity to just piss off and live to fight another day but with the ongoing recession I get that times are tough and he was undoubtedly understaffed in the thinking department that uh -huh. night so in a series of unfortunate events that can be summarized <laughs> as, guy does really dumb shit. He joined Emmy in going back to Elwyn. Can someone help, please? This admittedly was not a quest I should have tried to avenge solo, but as Rav the Avatar, he who is committed to showing the guild that he has their backs, and that he's better than Ms. Kith at the game, I had to do it. I knew that a threesome with a few yetis would spawn soon, so the strategy was to clear the area first, but this ended up backfiring in a big way as my timing uh -oh. was worse than a broken metronome. I told Howard he's got to deal with one of the big guys while I let the other two slap around my metal cock but I had to deal with Harambe over here spitting in my face. I wanted Howard to peel but I knew that chicken was almost dead so no bore or bomb was spared in getting them off. I had to fake my own death so that I could survive to tell people that Bigfoot does exist and he and his brothers tried to put me in a box as the first wave in this shit fest of an escort was over. Oh shit. I had a feeling more were coming, Raps but just to show how- absolutely, absolutely, uh, fucking this quest up, because this one is hard to do solo. You're all toxic. <laughs> I mean, I feel like he died on a warrior with the priest. Is it going to be any better with the druid? I don't know. I need to be- I need to get on this betting, though. That's all I know. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. The next orgy I had was smoother than an oiled tit as we blew up monkey numero uno. Told the second to chill out while I backed up to the three-point line and went full-blown Cincinnati Zoo on his brother and with that, the second wave was complete. 
The third and final wave would be a different story however, this time there were four and despite trying to execute the same game plan, I managed to fail the quest almost immediately for some ungodly reason. After a certified fuck fest for me to kill the four did pack it, I went back to the footage to realize that my pussy ass piece of poultry I, Did it run out of range? He just kept running while I was fighting off the yeah, entire counter that. so he could escape. I ran That's all annoying. the way back just in time to see someone else run off with my girl as if I didn't reserve this retry so I left the cave and acted like I didn't care what went down on their date only to immediately whip out my binoculars to watch this chode pally fail. Sure uh -oh. enough he was in camp miss kiff on this Old one bonker. as this was clearly doomed. You could see him running back to me trying to ask for help but I was like nah brah if I wanted to hear from an asshole I'd fart as I just waited for the chicken to die as my cue to haul ass back and nab me the next round. <laughs> I smirked on the first two packs but this time I was prepared for that cock to see the finish line and bust his nut too early once again. Sure enough that dumb shit rooster is oblivious to the world around him once again so I need yep. to literally show these rabbits tramp stamping my anus right in front of his beak to get him to just wait for the rabbitar to do his job. One. Two. Three. Four. And after a less than coordinated quadra kill, I told him off then walked him down the hill and with that Miss yep. Kiff was avenged. The last death came early on and only Corey. fangs as Cory the guy was the first high level in the guild to meet his demise when he attempted something that I quote. Yeah, this looks safe. Zanzel the outcast <laughs> is a seemingly harmless troll but he sticks a twig in the ground that has more skeletons coming out than a gay bar's Halloween party so while he did kill the main guy. The extended family of that troll's butt buddies ended his journey. I'm actually dead. Yeah, yeah I'm actually I remember dead. this. Remember. I knew that avenging this particular death would not be enough on its own and I would have to use it to send a message to the world of Warcraft in my own patented Rav the Avatar way. Uh oh. Is he unequipping everything? Throwing axes? All right. Insane. So do the roaches in Asmongold's cancer pit of a Twitch simp guild. If your guilty isn't willing to avenge your death by butt naked brawling a dangerous mob with a thrown weapon, is that truly a guild you are proud to be in? So true. I like how all of the uh, the the quests where he went and avenged guildies were so good, and then there was fucking mine because I literally it was like the worst death clip. It wasn't even good. That's the part I was like the most mad about because I was actually so zoned out. It wasn't even a good clip. If I was gonna die and lose like three days of my life, it could have at least been a good one. And it wasn't. I was the most disappointing part of the entire thing. <sighs> it's okay, I also went back to that camp and absolutely killed all of those little short fucks. So, you know, it's fine.